Hello and welcome back to Sunless Sea. We got done talking all the Quakers, as far as I remember. This is a pretty boring event. Paid a penny to, to some sailors. And I see lunch off in the distance, so that's what we're gonna do. I mean, we're already, we only have nine supplies, so. We're gonna go ruin this glowing crustaceans day. Assuming it gets the fuck back here. Oh, okay. Slow down. Back up. Oh god, I think it sees us. Oh, it really sees us. Yeah! Okay, so, yep. Butchered for supplies, lose the hunger. Do a sick 180 in the water and press on. Now, we were just exploring south, if I do recall, and seeing what we can find. Excited. Little ships through the waters here. The crew goes wistful. They swap old stories of I was reading that. God damn it. What is it? We draw near to the Chameleon Canal, the way to the surface. This is this a surface? This is this a way to the surface? Can we go to the surface? It'd be a bit silly if we could. Where are you? Ooh, is this it? Did you hit the light? away to a port. Now remember, that doesn't mean anything interesting a lot of the times. Last time, we just got to sell our secret, or sell our memories to some guy, and that was about it. So. Interesting. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh dear. Back it up. Back it up. There's a jelly floor. Oh, jeez, it has a lot of health. Backing up! Oh dear. Keep killing it. War of attrition, we have this. And. Not dead yet. Not dead yet. Not dead yet. Oh, I wasted the shot. I freaked out. Now, thank you, I didn't know damage was bad. Here I was thinking I should look forward to it. All clear. The jellyfleur, is it a young jellyfish? A lesser species? Do the dreams of jelly jellyfish become real? In any case, now it's a sad slick of glue, goo dissolving into the Z. Scoop it up. Perhaps you can eat it. Better yet, perhaps your zealous can. Let it disperse, watch its oil rainbow colors fade. Unlocked with a port visage, unlocked with sure visages. This seems like it does more. I mean, we're not that hungry when we plant supplies, so do that. Oh, a face. From above, the Jilly Fleur's cap does look a little like a woman's face. She dissolves like smeared paint. We now have a Zizori. A Zizori? Z story. We just keep adding Z's to everything. I can only imagine playing this game if you pronounce it Z Z. I never quite got that. Get it, but <laughs> Z is Z. These would be Zedlers. <laughs> I wonder if that's how you're supposed to say it. Zedlers. The under Z. The under Z. It doesn't make any sense, the under Z under Z. Can't even fathom thinking about that. Um, they say something awaits you in port, but it's like, how would you get there?
There are no islands within the bet's range. Under the under the Z bet's range. I just don't I don't understand how you could say it. Maybe it's just it's just my Americanness that can't do it. Ooh, this place glows when you are ooh. Ooh, what is that? This looks interesting. Probably finding a way to make money instead of just dicking around, shouldn't we? Fed the crew, unfortunately. A rock breaks the water like surface, sing the beast. No, it's No, it's the beast! No, it's a rock. As I was reading that, I almost hit this. Interesting. There's no ports, so I can't exactly do anything. Our fuel. Oh, shit! Labyrinth of eels. <laughs> Why didn't somebody tell me? Oh my god, what is this? Is that a. Is that a. Is that a robot shark? Oh, that's... Oh, hello. The Dubious Maelstrom. Interesting. So, our best hope is hopefully to find a port, because I forgot to buy fuel. Lick a monkey crag. Lick a monkey crag? Who the hell named that? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I can buy fuel here. Maybe? Looks like I see a boat. Come on! Oh no. Oh me. Oh my. What, what do we do? What do we do? Send it up. Send a message. Oh, thank you for telling me it's in the northeast. That'll do us good. Oh, this is actually a thing. Without fuel, your ship is an oddly shaped house located somewhere you really don't want to live. Search your supplies for something useful. There, is, there must be something you can repurpose as fuel. That is luck with two supplies. A few last supplies. Very little remains to you, but if you're lucky, perhaps there's something you can use. A matter of luck, it can go either way. Make a sacrifice to Storm. Storm, the god of the roof. Angriest of the three, he's as likely to crush you as save you. But you could hardly be worse off, after all. He will require a death. Time to draw lots. Make a sacrifice to Stone. Stone is the kindest of the gods of Z. But that's not saying very much. It is a great wound from which a river of blood flows. Wound yourself in memory of her and perhaps she'll show mercy. Make a sacrifice to Salt. Salt, the god of horizons and farewells. Who knows what he'll do? Whisper a secret into the dark and sea. Fire, distress, flare. Do not have a flare. Abandon ship. We're not there yet. We're going we're gonna to do the last supplies. See what we get. Yes! It smells like burning rags, but it'll satisfy the engine's hunger for a while. We've lost... It cost us one supply. So, uh, that's better than two. And we were fortunate. And there's a port right there. Right there. In this shady-looking town. What is this? People are getting scared, I see. What a bunch of pansies I see. And duck. What do we got here? Pigmoat Isle. Two houses, both alike in dignity. A lonely, on a lonely deserted beach. There is no habitation in sight, no market. Only an odd rot only an old rotting dock. A stretch of sand thickens into damp black earth, from which sprouts stunted palms? Not quite. Tall fungal growths with frond-like caps, as if someone had sculpted the idea of a tree f from a mushroom. Disembark. See what awaits you. War. As you step under the quay, you hear a clamor, shouts, and shooting you can see, uh, you can see. off in the distance. Smoke rises from beyond the hill, and 
dots of fire flecking the horizon. Two tiny figures stand a little further down the quarry, the quay, unmoving as if awaiting your approach. The tale of Pigmoat Island, in which a delegation is made, a choice is presented, war is declared, and a most singular treasure is sought by all, and a new empire is founded with tooth and claw. Oh, oh my. Well, settle in for a story, boys and girls, because here we go. The figures were rodents. To my left was Rattus Faber, wearing goggles, a blacksmith apron, and an assortment of tools. To my right, an unusually large gu guinea? Guinea. Guinea pig. Duh. Guinea pig, wearing a hat and breastplate reminiscent of nothing so much as the high Middle Ages. The rat stepped forward first and bowed. Welcome, Captain, to Rat Star Island. I am Edgar, second chief engineer of the third rat brigade. I invite you to avail yourself of food and fuel at our expense. The only cost to you is a choice. The rat stepped back. At precisely the same moment, with what appeared to be the ease of a long habitat, the guinea pig scuttled forward and made a declarationary chirp. Welcome, Captain, to the Isle of Caveria. I am Lady Augustine de Vixtrin, switch of Blackwater Swinches. Gentle to our King Gracious now, first of his name, I invite you to avail yourself of food and fuel at our expense. The only cost is to you as a choice. The two stood at attention, looking at me expectantly. The two remarkable rodents sat, squatted, both seeking my support. I knew I had to choose carefully. I spoke to the chief engineer, his eyes had a wave of cold glint to them, and he wore his scars like jewels. I asked the chief engineer to elaborate. He looked at me for a long, measured moment before speaking gruffly. We came to this island to make a home for ourselves away from London. It's cats and snuffers. It's ratskin suits. We came to live as citizens of our own republic. We came with our tools, our teeth, and our clever hands. And we made a beautiful city by the light of Rat Star that shone bright and blue on Mount Ariat. The chief engineer nodded towards the distant hill. One day we braved the depth of chicken woods from the top of Mount Ariat. We plucked the Rat Star to be our light, our beacon. But the pigs of Cavi saw the light and they lusted for it. They sent armies to rule us and steal our star. We will not permit them to take what is ours. We will resist to our last breath. Will you join us in defi de uh, defeating them? I fucked it up at the last moment. What a shame. I spoke to the Schnitzel. Is it, what is that? What is that? Seneschal? Seneschal or Schnitzel? God, I can't pronounce shit. How did an armored guinea pig manage to look so regal? A knight out of habitat. The central duck cleared her throat with a delicacy to rival the Duchess, Duchess's own, before speaking. Grace not the king, our lord and sovereign, full seven months, had sojourned, sojourned on the sea, conquered this land, and won the southern main. Now no fortress against him shall remain. No city walls be left for him to gain, save the rats that squeak behind mountain, unlikely was the lamb of our deliverance, assured shall our glories in their fall, when our lady's eye restored to be our hall. The snitchel composed herself, then added, We saw the truth, we saw truth and beauty by the light of our lady's eye on Mount Caveat, Caveat. but the rats with their guns and their chatter, and the peasants' politics stole it from us, we will subjugate them and take it back. They are a rabble, and we will rule them with steel shard velvet of our paws. Will you join us? Ah. Ah, I see. I see indeed. I see, I see, I see, I see. And I am not blind, so I see quite clearly. I do believe I have made my choice. And I hope it's a choice that you agree with. And it is a choice. Oh, hold on. And it is a choice. You will have to tune into in the next episode. I know. It's a cliffhanger. 
but you're going to have to watch the next one. So, if you liked this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Have a good one.